welcome to qvalidation.com so in our IBM series uh, in this video we will see uh, some more options how we can scroll okay so in Android so this is specifically with uh, Android um, so if you are not sure what I'm talking here um, one of my previous video I have shown how to scroll to a particular element uh, and this is applicable for both Android and iOS okay so let me quickly recap what exactly we have seen in our previous video okay so if you see here so let me go to the scrolling uh, dot Java file so here basically I have written the logic to scroll down okay so I am using a touch actions where I am pressing particular coordinate and then I am moving to a particular another coordinate so that it will make your uh, uh, mobile screen scrolling okay and then what I am doing I am putting a condition so the required uh, what do you call the required element whatever uh, is there a needed element till it, this particular scrolling reaches to that particular element and then it will click on that okay so here you can see so while you are not getting that item you should be scrolling down once you get that item come out of that okay and then once that element is visible then click on that so here like uh, I'm first I identifying the element and then I'm using that as a list of element and then I'm using this scroll down concept. Okay, but uh, Android is giving in a, a nice option where you can directly scroll to that particular element okay so let me just quickly open that particular application so here is the api demos that we were seeing from uh, past many videos so here what we have exactly done by using this code so we are going to this view okay after that we are scrolling actually scrolling till we are getting the web view let me go to the end here oops sorry okay so here is the web view and then click on this web view okay so that's what we were doing so here you can see we were uh, finding that element but what happens so let's say that uh, in Android you are keep on uh, what do you call calling this particular um, swiping down 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 and then identifying that element but uh, Android is giving an option that is UI scrollable because this is basically the UI scrollable or the scroll view okay so by which uh, you can scroll by uh, what do you call by uh, pin, uh, pinning into a point and then dragging it up or down okay so here if you see what exactly we are doing we are basically finding this element so by using this UI scrollable what we can do we can uh, like any one of the it's not like web view so without identifying the elements by using only the display text we can scroll to that particular element okay so this will basically save your time and uh, one of the good uh, what do you call advantage of this particular um, UI scrollable uh, is that so let's say that you are at this level so let's say that uh, okay uh, let me show you one more so here yeah, you are searching for animation but let's say that uh, you are basically so you are searching for animation yeah, okay but what happens you are on this grid now on this screen actually now if you see when we are using this particular code it basically only uh, what you call swipes into a particular direction either all up 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 or down down okay but this UI scrollable uh, this uh, option will basically search in both directions from the upside and also from down so first what it will do it will go till the end of your screen and if it is not able to find out then it will go up and select that particular element okay or the text till that the text will be found okay so let me just quickly copy paste that particular code base so what i will do i'll create a method here itself into this scrolling dot java so here let me just mention public void and here i will say scroll till text okay uh, and then what i will do i'll put a string and this is basically the text that i'm going to 
what you call pass it so that it can search till that particular text is found so i have this code base so let me just copy paste this one and this is just two lines of code that's it so here let me explain it so what it is doing it's a android i as i told before this is applicable only for android operating system okay and here i am getting that driver okay mobile driver dot get driver so this is basically from my framework uh, so i have created a small framework which will uh, what do you call this mobile driver class will hold the driver okay so if you are not sure what i am talking you can watch my previous video i'll put that into the description okay so where i have just uh, explained a brief um, about this particular small framework so that you can uh, and the same thing is uh, what you call going forward for all the videos that i am posting okay so here you can see so this is basically returning the driver fine so now what i am doing so i am getting the driver and then find elements by android ui automator okay so it's give it's basically a locator that it is using so new ui scrollable so this is basically your scrollable okay so here the pan actually that you're going to scroll now new ui selector scrollable true so that that should be scrollable that screen or else you can't scroll right and instance zero if there are multiple scrollable options are there then just take the first instance from there so basically now in most of the applications on one screen you will uh, be having only one scrollable pan only now scroll into view means go inside that view where ui selector that particular ui and then it will dot text so it will match with the exact text so let me just put this one as here so whatever text you will be sending from there that but it will match with that text so let's say that uh, you are searching with a, a particular text and that appears two times on your screen then it will go with the instance zero that means the first instance and here i'm not clicking on that so for timing let's make it as and not click so it will just scroll till that particular point that's it we will be going to do okay now how simple it is so what we can do so here now come to our particular so here what i will do let me just uh, so this is the uh, previous way uh, i mean this is one of the way that we have uh, already discussed how to scroll so here i'll create another class another uh, test method so public void test one some name i'm giving and then here what i will do and the same thing i launch the app definitely i have to launch the app and then i have to create an object of that particular what do you call that particular class the scrolling class okay and then here what i will do scroll dot and then it will list out all the methods so here is the one so here is the scroll till text here i'm customizing this one now which one i need so let's say that now let me go back and this is my original screen or the home page of this screen so let's say that if i want to go to the views so what i can do here i can do like this so the display text okay now once i am into this and then what i will do i will say let's do one thing uh, let's say lists okay l i s t s l i s t s okay so what it will do first it will uh, go to the view okay so what i can do here one thing okay so before running this what i will do here now i'll just change a bit and click okay let's say i will do a click operation now this is very simple here you can put a dot click operation okay dot click operation here fine okay okay so what happens so this will uh, particularly if i don't write anything click operation what it will do it will just go to that particular element or the text that is found and it will leave as it is but we are going to now click it so that you can visualize that one what i am doing here and i will just change this and click okay 
now let me run this so what i will do i'll put some weight here so that you can visualize that one three seconds let's say okay and then let's throw a exception fine now what i will do i will run this particular code okay so okay let me make sure that okay my rpm server is running my app is there okay and i have already written the what you call the app package and app activity to what you call open that particular application here you can see okay and now let me go to that particular test case this is my test ng class actually test ng method so here what i will do i'll put a test fine now let me right click run as test engine now let me open this particular simulator so now what it will do it will launch the application oops some error let's see what is that error oops this should be actually outside this because till this point it will scroll and then it will go to here okay i have just uh, before to that i have mentioned okay not to worry let me rerun again run as test ng test okay it clicked on the views and then it it will scroll till that list okay and then it will click on that and then it will close the application okay so this is uh, that simple but if you are not using this particular uh, what you call ui scrollable option then what you have to what you call scroll a bit and then check whether that particular uh, what you call element is visible or not and then again scroll again scroll so which is kind of a time consuming but again another demerit is that uh, because i am using the find element by android ui automator this is only applicable for android operating system okay so let me just give another uh, what do you call idea of that so here is the video that uh, i have uh, earlier posted scroll using the rpm into the list view till the element is found so by using a touch action so i'll just put this link into the description you can watch it later okay now let me go to the new ui scrollable to see what and all options we have actually except this uh, exact so here is the list of uh, what you call ui scrollable let me go to this particular okay so these are the methods that you can use so here see click operation and then you know, let me go to the text actually so text is the method that i am using right just a second uh, ui selector right okay i think i have put ui scrollable ui selector okay so here what you can do ui scrollable ui selector dot text so here when i am using dot text it should be the exact text that uh, the, like just before i've said that it should be lists means it should be lists only so if it is not matching that particular tag uh, text entire text it will not scroll till that but let's say that you can even use the class name also so you can use ui selector method dot class uh, class name and then you can give the class name okay like that you can use and uh, if you come down here see text means it is the exact text okay but th there are certain options text contains means if it is uh, what you call matching a portion of that text then also so you, what you can do instead of text you can just mention text contains text matches so if you are using any kind of uh, regular expression then you can use a text matches method text starts with also you can use so that beginning some words if you know then you can mention that one so like this different methods are there so mostly what i experience is the text method and text contains method these are the two methods that you can frequently use with uh, for the scrolling okay so and then you can use the click if you don't want to use the click then it will just scroll till that particular string or the exact um, match and then it will stay then and there only okay 
and as i told one more benefit is there first it will go from top to bottom and if there is no what you call so let's say that there are situations where while navigating you might not be your screen might not uh, what you call land from the uh, beginning of that uh, items it might go into the middle so that what it will do first it will see uh, it will go down actually and search all the elements if it is not found then it will go in a reverse way to search for that uh, match actually so if it is not matching then it will be infinitely it will be scrolling up and down so make sure that you are using the right method and then the exact method that can match depending on that method you are using so it is that simple you can just use this particular uh, two lines of code and then call whenever you need by using the uh, parameter as a text okay so that's all this is one of the quick video that uh, uh, I hope you can get benefited with okay and for uh, if you are using iOS then you have to use the uh, different way that I have already explained okay so okay thanks for watching and do subscribe to my YouTube channel